The Oath of the Horatii is a painting from 1784 by French painter Jacques-Louis David. It is considered one of the masterpieces of neoclassicism. The painting is 330 cm high and 425 cm wide and can be found in the Louvre. The work deals with an important subject from Roman mythology, where the three Horatii brothers had to defend Rome in one-on-one -on -one battles against the Curiatii from Alba, a neighboring city and also a rival. In the end, only the oldest brother of the Horatii survives, who is then cursed by his sister, she was married to one of the Curiatii, and therefore stabs her to death as well. By this oath, the Horatii swear to their father that they will either win the fight or die. The fight itself appears in several literary sources, such as Titus Livius A. B. Urbi Condita, but the oath was invented by David. Although David began the research for the painting in Paris at the request of the king, he chose to paint it in Rome, in the Palazzo Costanzi. He could only afford this thanks to the financial support of his father-in-law. He was partly helped by his pupil Jean German Drouet. David completed the work in 1785. The painting was first exhibited in the painter's studio in Rome and then taken to Paris. It met with enormous success and allowed David to overshadow his rivals such as Pierre Perrin. In the years that followed, the painting became a symbol of the French Revolution. It inspired the Italian composer Bernardo Porta, a friend of David's, for his opera The Horatii, after the play by Pierre Cornell. The number three is omnipresent in the oath of the Horatii and is considered a symbol of perfection and stability. In many religions and mythologies, the number three refers to the perfect, such as the Christian Trinity, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, the three Moiras and the three chariots. In this story, it is the three Horatii, Curiatii and their sisters. In the painting, the entire composition is based on the number three, three groups of characters, each of which is part of one of the three arches in the background. The three Horatii brothers take up a position that suggests a triangle. This brings out the strength, steadfastness and unity of both the group and the individuals. The father of the three brothers also refers to the number three by means of the three swords he is about to entrust to his sons. On the right-hand side of the painting is a group of three women, with whom David probably wanted to bring forward their common suffering and support. The woman dressed in black comforts the two children, so that this group also consists of three people. The rule of three is fully respected here, as is the viewer's gaze on the center, where the outstretched hands of the Horatii point to the swords held by their father, the emphasis is on the oath taken. The painting shows a typical feature of neoclassicism, namely the clear presence of two groups, the men on the left and the women on the right. This separation is particularly evident in the difference in lines, these are straight for the men and curved for the women. The men, with their outstretched arms, are full of determination, strength and patriotism, while the women, in tears at the imminent battle of their brothers and husbands, seem to be collapsing. 